Hey, welcome back to the channel, you guys. Drawing with Michael, Michael Claire to Arts. I am, of course, Michael. This morning, we're going to be doing a really short review um, of a new piece of tech that I uh, recently allocated for my um, Surface and my Dell um, drawing tablet. Uh, you know, <clears throat> there's a lot of different styluses out there. There's a lot of different products out there. And I, I was kind of dumbfounded whenever I went and searched for a, a, a stylus alternative to the one that came with my Dell and Spirion 7573 um, laptop, two-in-one. There were just a lot of options, and I think that, you know, whenever I started looking at them, I, I just didn't really get a really good feel of exactly what I should be going for. And I, I, I went to the Dell website, and they actually listed two styluses for this particular device, one that was a lower tier that had over 2,000 levels of pressure sensitivity, and then one that was kind of like a pro stylus, and that pro stylus was expensive. It was almost $100. And I, I didn't really think that I needed to go ahead and spend $100 on a stylus because, frankly, I already had one. You know, I'm a really big, big advocate to say that pressure sensitivity isn't such a huge deal until you get into the really large brushes and, and you know, the large pixel density. Uh, that's when it really comes into play. You know, whenever you're drawing small and stuff like that, you really can't tell a difference. And uh, I think that, you know, I started looking at the expense of that brush and I really didn't think it was justified. So I did some research and found a, a great alternative, the bamboo ink stylus that I, I'm sure there's been a lot of reviews on this particular stylus, um, on YouTube and, you know, even probably artist reviews, but I wanted to show from my perspective, what works, what doesn't work on this particular machine, the ink stylus, um, from bamboo, I think has been out probably for about five years, four or five years. There's generations now, generation one, generation two, and then there's a generation three that basically is the same as generation two, but it's got a, a you know, generation three, I believe has a rechargeable battery in it. That's the plus, the ink plus. What I'm gonna review today is the second generation. <clears throat> um, and hopefully, uh, you know, you'll see why. It's a good option, good alternative for those that are looking for a stylus um, for your uh, Dell Inspirion laptop that supports active pen technology. That's the real big caveat. You know, whenever this particular stylus um, came out, the bamboo stylus came out, it was supposed to be kind of a coverall. You know, it's the universal stylus that you can use on just about anything. And that's not really true. Uh, you know, I can basically turn it off and I believe it supports, is supported by some Wacom, um, Android tablets that you have to pair Bluetooth and stuff like that. Uh, but this particular um, device that I have right here went pretty much seamless uh, into my uh, Dell machine, which is really awesome. I got it out of the box and, and went right on. So, um, you know, there's a lot of polished, if you're looking for a really polished review, I think you should probably stop this video and go move on and look for a polished review. Somebody that maybe is paid <laughs> to look at that particular uh, you know, look at the stylus in a in a very technical way. I'm going to look at it from an artist's view, and hopefully those that um, appreciate that um, will stick around. So enjoy the review. So here's the product in question. This is the Bamboo Ink Stylus for um, devices that support the active pen technology. Um, I'm doing a compare and contrast right now between the different styluses that I currently own. The top is the stylus the Dell came with, the middle of course is the Bamboo Ink, and the bottom is a Surface um, Pro 6, I believe, stylus in terms of, of uh, sizing. I also wanted to show, um, you know, and compare and contrast the sizing between a Wacom uh, stylus for my 22HD Cintiq tablet. Um, Again, you know, that bamboo's right in that middle zone. And here is the bamboo stylus with a little bit more detail. It's got the rocker button, similar to a Wacom Cintiq um, stylus. And then the barrel's made out of, which looks like uh, aluminum, just a fantastic piece. And finally, here's the case and replaceable nibs that I had ordered for, uh, and it shows uh, soft, medium, and hard. Um, just a real nice uh, little addition to the stylus uh, whenever I want to change and swap out the nibs for different drawing experiences. 
Okay, so today I'm gonna to be working on my Dell because this is the machine that I uh, purchased the stylus for. Just so you guys know, whenever you purchase um, this particular model of Dell uh, computer, this is the 7573 2-in-1. Um, this is the 15.9 inch screen, I believe. It comes with an active stylus and I believe this is not the top echelon tier of the stylus. And I was, I was okay with this particular stylus it didn't really knock my socks off um you know it didn't come with any replaceable nibs and uh, the feel was very generic and it didn't have great uh overall feel whenever i was drawing on the machine um pressure sensitivity was pretty good and i did a review of this particular machine on this channel um whenever i first got this particular device and i thought that it was it was okay you know, I thought, you know, whenever I first purchased it, that it was going to be a, you know, a kind of a revolutionary machine because it was, you know, really fast. It's got great power and, and the processing um, capability of this machine is is far beyond, you know, even my HP that I have, my, my ZBook. Um, this machine has the eighth generation processors with, um, uh, I believe, 16 gigs of RAM. <clears throat> upgradable to 32 and it's got a video card dedicated GPU two gigabytes uh, plus an integrated um, GPU and you know the uh, Intel integrated graphics so it's it's got great capability it's got great peripherals but this isn't a review on this machine what makes this machine unique is the 4k screen and and if that's important in knowing before you know I kind of go into the whole reason why I bought the extra stylus <clears throat> um, you know, there's, you know, you look at this and you say, well, your stylus is doing pretty good. Yeah, but it just doesn't, it doesn't have the reactionary time. It doesn't feel quite 100%. And that's probably, that's probably because it's got a lower uh, pressure curve and you can feel that. And, and, in some, you know, programs, this one in particular, I'm working in sketchbook pro, <laughs> um, and two with the 4k screen. And this is important. Something I didn't realize is in the active stylus um, universe on Dells, there is a little program that you download that you can adjust the pressure curves overall on the machine, similar to the Surface, little Surface um, uh, program that they have. You can adjust the, the Surface you know, curves. This particular machine, since it has the 4K screen and the dedicated GPU, you cannot adjust the pressure curve. Everything's kind of baked in. And I wasn't happy with that after, you know, after I got the, um, after I got the device and I realized, oh, I can't adjust the pressure curve. I can't, you know, adjust the firmness. I can't adjust, you know, and even calibration, it calibrates itself every single time the pin comes in contact with it. And two, the, uh, palm rejection was absolutely horrid. Uh, whenever I first got this machine, you see, I have palm rejection or I have touch on, which I don't particularly like. So what I noticed is as, you know, I started getting um, updates is they started uh, adjusting and I'm still got the Dell uh, stylus. They started adjusting the distance to where it becomes active. So that's very important because if you if you put your hand down first, like if you're like this, then, you know, depending. Actually, that's pretty good. It, it depends on how you put it down. It recognizes fingers really well, but. I'm losing battery life on my reference materials here. <clears throat> um, what was I saying? I got distracted. Oh, so, you know, the distance. So it recognizes whether or not you have a palm here and then a finger. So I, I, whenever I draw a lot of times, I'll put my fingers down. So it's partially my fault whenever it comes to palm rejection. So... You know, palm rejection was a big issue. So, <clears throat> as you know, the further in I got, I started actually messing around with my Surface Pen from my Surface Book, which does work on this device because it supports Intrig technology. And I noticed that the Surface Pen was being activated um, much higher than the Dell uh, than the Dell Pen. So I got to thinking and I got to looking around. So that's when I landed on this device. Um, and this device is the Bamboo Ink Generation 2, and I received it in the mail, and I got it, and I thought, wow, this is a, a really decent stylus, and I like it a lot. And, 
you know, I started kind of toying around with it um, on my on my device here, and what I noticed what I noticed uh, immediately was it just felt better. It it, it felt better uh, in the context of pressure. It felt better in the context of where it activated. Um, you know, it activates right about here, which is just about three quarters of my pinky. So about three quarters of my pinky from the screen, it starts activating. And, you know, that's really cool because I draw really fast. And, you know, whenever I'm sitting here drawing really fast and I'm going through, I want my stylus to be active as, you know, I, I would like to have it active all the way up here. Because typically whenever I move stuff, I'll take my pen out of my hand and I'll move stuff around. Or I'll use my XP pen um, remote uh, to go ahead and do all the quick keys and the zoom in and zoom out. And basically, it's kind of like having a keyboard um, off here to the side. So <clears throat> I started using um, the bamboo, but what I didn't like was the fact that it had a really slick nib. So I started looking around and I found um, the fact that this particular pen, whenever you order it from Wacom, uh, does not come with replaceable nibs, which is terrible. Um, so I had to order these replaceable nibs. But what's really cool is whenever you order these nibs, you come with different hardnesses. So I think it came with probably, I don't know, the hardest on the planet. Because <laughs> a lot of people use it for dictation on their uh, on their devices. But this particular um, this uh, item comes with three hardnesses from soft, medium to hard. And then I think this one's made of paper, like that really dense paper that Wacom includes in their, uh, you know, whenever you order uh, a Cintiq tablet. And believe it or not, I paid... I paid $11 for five of these. I have the other one over there on my desk. So five of these. So I got a whole load of them for $11, which was really great. And it'll last me probably for the entire duration that I own this device. <clears throat> Here's the downfall of the bamboo ink. And I think that a lot of people will agree, will agree with me. It, it doesn't have an eraser. Now, if you're used to flipping your stylus around and erasing, that's kind of a you know, one of those things where you look at it and you have to decide, do I want the eraser? Do I want not want the eraser? And even though the Apple Pencil does not have an eraser, and you could say that, you double tap and then it becomes eraser and then you double tap again. Um, this does have uh, the two, the little rocker switch in the center. And in certain programs, like if I were to go ahead and do this and I press this, it becomes an eraser. So that's pretty cool. It's pre-programmed. But here's the here's the sucky thing on this device. I can't go in and um, change the designation for this. There is no program on this machine. Now, in other iterations of the seventy five seventy three that does not have the four K screen, yes, you can. I'm pretty sure you can download and, and adjust the pressure curve. But because this has the four K screen, you can't do that, and and that kind of sucks. You know, hindsight being twenty twenty. I kind of wish I would have paid more attention whenever I bought this device. Of course, in my mindset, I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, I want the 4K screen because it's awesome. 4K is awesome. But what I didn't realize is, you know, for drawing experience, it's probably not the best thing in the world. It also eats batteries. You know, it'll eat your battery in two hours because of the, the high resolution. Um, in terms of length, <clears throat> um, you know, this particular stylus, if you compare it with the Dell, the bamboo ink generation two is longer and it's it's about it's a little bit heavier i think in terms of build quality it's it's very good but i gotta be honest with you the the stylus that comes with the dell it's got aluminum barrel it's all made of aluminum it's stainless steel it'll clip right here i don't know about this it's kind of weird um you know maybe it's missing a little rubber nib or something like that uh but you know in terms of build quality it's fine they both run off of batteries um and just overall, I think this particular stylus is just, it's absolutely wonderful. <clears throat> um, you know, like I said, I originally got it to uh, supplement and, and get rid of my, uh, you know, this particular stylus. And, you know, now that I have the pressure, not the pressure, now that I have the different nib on here that, that you know, has a little bit of, it's got a little bit of a rubber end here and you can feel it which is really cool because now it interacts with that slick glass and it gives it just enough of the, um, 
of the drag to have it feel better, you know, like a, uh, like a drawing surface. Um, is it the best? <laughs> no, you know, I, I, like I said, I had originally gotten this device to really kind of, I had to buy something for my business at the end of the year and I had to do it quickly because, you know, of, of tax season and whatnot. But, you know, like I said, hindsight, I don't know if I would have, I should have done a little bit more research um, for this particular device. I'm not really happy with the active pin technology. It's not my fave. Wacom is always going to be, until they come out with something, you know, absolutely phenomenal, um, it's probably going to be my fave. I do like Apple technology a lot. I mean, a lot, a lot. And I was just commenting about that last night when I was drawing. I was thinking, man, this stylus is just so stinking good. And I'm talking about the Apple Pencil. And every single time I draw with the Apple Pencil, it just is absolutely phenomenal. What's really cool, though, is in terms of parallax, I don't I don't see a lot of distance between the end of the nib and the drawing, uh, the actual um and the actual mark inside of the virtual world. The, the thing is, is, you know, as, as artisans, as artists, as people that, you know, do this for a living, we have to find out what works best for us. That's something that is said a lot. And it's kind of like that blanket moment of, well, if it doesn't work for you, it's not my fault. You work different than I do. Therefore you can take my opinion. You can throw my opinion in the garbage. Um, and I think that's kind of a cop-out, right? I, I think that if it works, it works. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. You know, this particular stylus works. It works pretty good. I'd say, nah, I'd say about 85% of what I like. I think one of the reasons why is because the surface is so slick. And I don't think they make a paper-like uh, material. They might sell it in bulk and then you can cut it um, to fit your needs. And I might actually do that. You know, I've got paper like on my iPad. I've got paper like on my Surface Book, and you know, I love it. It it just really kind of takes that drawing experience to the next level. And honestly, it's hard for me to justify, you know, buying uh, any more th any more stuff for this computer because it's marketed. I think as you know, whenever you include a stylus with it, especially something like this, you know as a, as a drawing device. And I want it to work, you know, as good, if not better than what I currently have. Um, one thing that I have noticed, and I don't know if you guys have noticed this before, and I think it has to do with the program itself. What will happen is the tracking will go awry and it'll be just a centimeter to the left or to the right. And whenever I go ahead and I get out of there and I come back in this program, it centers it. And I think I'm pretty sure that it has to do with the program and not the stylus because it does it on all my styluses. Um, for this device. Pressure curve. This is supposed to have over 4,000 levels of pressure sensitivity. Um, if you compare it with the existing stylus that I own for this device, I believe it. This one, either, even though it's good, and we're going back to the Dell stylus right now, even though it's good, it, it, it doesn't have that same... It's hard to describe... Um, that same quote unquote feel to it. But whenever I come here, it just, it, it, it literally, it, 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 it the, the, the input that I get from it is wonderful. <clears throat> um, what else? Battery life is very similar to Intrig, meaning, you know, I'm probably never going to have to, not for a whole year, replace the batteries on this device, which is really cool. Um, you know, it's, it's very durable. Now, how much did I pay for this? That's, that's the big question. I believe on the, let's check on the, um, on the Wacom website. So let's go Wacom. Uh, A-C-O-M. Uh, Bamboo Ink. Okay. So let's look up what they're charging. So second generation at B&H Photo, which is exactly this device, is 50 bucks, okay? Which is actually not bad, because I think on the Wacom website, yeah, see, it's it's stylized for Windows Ink. Okay, so for note-taking, intuitive, a pen for everyone, 
you know, from uh, windows to whatever you need, you know, natural space, 4,096 levels of pressure, tens pressure sensitivity, cylindrical shape. Um, it says with bamboo ink, you can choose an accessory with three nibs, soft, medium, firm to best suit your inking. And I showed you guys that here a second ago. And, you know, it takes a, a quadruple A battery. For the money, if you're looking for a stylus to, um, to help you out, I think this is a great option. Um, if you're looking for the best, most incredible drawing experience you've ever had in your life, which is, isn't that funny? As artists, we're always looking for that one device that will really solve all of our problems, you know, and, and, and make the cake too. Is this device that device to add to your existing, uh, you know, your existing model? Uh, of computer. I don't know. I, I think that, it, again, here's that little caveat. It all depends on how you work. It all depends on, you know, what you do. One of the things that I did notice, um, you know, I'm going to go back to the Dell stylus that came with it really quick. So if what I like to do is obviously the straight line test. You know, I've seen it on different channels. The Intric technology really had a flaw. So whenever you did diagonal lines and you can see it, you see the tiny little wiggles here and there. And then whenever you go straight line, it's almost completely straight. So the thing is, is with Intrig, I think that either Intrig or Active Stylus, something is in the digitizer that maybe there's, you know, in terms of nodes or sens sensitivity nodes, it, it, it senses it and there's just a minuscule little bit of distance between the nodes and then it falls off. So that's where the wiggle comes from. But if you look, I mean, it's not bad. They've really tried to eliminate and alleviate that through updates and programming. That's going, that's going really slow. You know, and then I go down and then I go, that's my fault. See, let me see if I can grab a ruler or something straight. So if I do a straight edge, look at that. I mean, it's pretty darn straight. It's hard, it's hard to sit here and complain about the straightness of it when it is basically straight. And as fast as I draw, I'm not, I'm not doing, you know, I'm not, I'm not drawing itty bitty lines. Um, now, if you're vectoring or using, let's say, a pen, maybe it'll do it on a pen. So let's go down. Let's do this back here. Yeah. Now look, you can see you can see the little wiggles right here and there. Even though that was, let's try it again. I'm gonna go really slow this time. You know, guys, I got to be honest with you. That's really good. <laughs> so um, here, here's the deal, too. You know, I, I've had a lot of people ask me about this particular computer and my review in general. Whoops, on the wrong brush. I want texture. Um, you know, and, and why why I chose, you know, this particular machine. Now, I do have, I do have a, uh, I do have an Apple uh, iPad. I do have a, a couple of other machines and, you know, all of them are good. It is a wondrous thing, especially during this particular time being, you know, time and technology that, you know, we, we have these wonderful drawing devices. I remember years ago, whenever I was looking at what is going to be the best option for a portable, um, for a portable device that I can use and I can basically go and sketch and draw and do everything I want to do, uh, in a, in a, in a professional capacity. And guys, there was nothing, you know, I'm a Mac guy by, by, uh, you know, by history. Yeah, let's do this. And my only option was to buy something called a mod book. You ought to look it up. I think they still sell them because recently I was going to buy one and then I realized, oh my gosh, they're still so expensive. Basically what they do is they take an existing, uh, tooth is too big. They take an existing MacBook and they put a Wacom digitizer over it. And 
you know, then you basically have the best of both worlds. You have a, a Wacom, uh, you know, a Wacom screen and feel, and then you have the Mac technology because Apple doesn't sell currently, they don't sell a touch computer other than their iPad. <clears throat> um, and if you want Wacom technology, you'd have to buy Cinti Companion or Mobile Studio Pro or whatever they're calling it these days. Uh, or you just have to, you know, carry an Intuos with you and draw to the side, which I don't like doing. I like drawing on the screen. Um, so, you know, Modbook was kind of the only option. Nowadays, golly, they've got so many different devices for you guys and for us to choose from, from iPads to this device to, you know... Um, gosh, you know, the Windows computers these days are stinking amazing. I was always a Mac guy and always kind of funny because I, I used to, you know, poo-poo uh, PCs because that's what us Mac guys do and I would put down on them. But then the first, you know, PC that I got, which was basically my Surface, um, my Surface Pro 3, and I started really enjoying the wonderful things that PC had to offer. Um, were they perfect at the time? No. And that's why devices like this one right here are invented. Because this one, you know, the Bamboo Ink Stylus, I think is a great companion for the, uh, you know, for the Windows Ink uh, device. Um, you know, I've got my other device, and it's too, you know, I look at, I look at the whole Surface line. The Surface line, they actually just came out today with the new Surface Book 3. They came out with some of the other you know, products recently, the Surface Go, um, and it's too, it's a great, all those are great devices. I always thought whenever I started, uh, you know, evaluating and doing these things, I thought that um, Microsoft was either throttling <clears throat> their computers or doing things to really kind of adjust the, uh, you know, adjust the, the user experience because I would go on my Surface device and the Surface device, for some reason, felt so much better. It just felt so much better. The the pen felt better. The the writing experience, the palm rejection, and you know, I'm 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 not really a conspiracy theorist by nature. So eventually, I really got over that. So nowadays, I'm just like, well, who knows? You know, it, it, just like any any large computer corporation, they've got to put their stamp on things. That's what Dell does. You know, I call it the Dell shell. Also, the HP has a shell. And, you know, those shells sometimes will will cause, I think, issues with the uh, underlying technology that resides in the, um, in the Windows ecosystem. So who knows? You know, I just know that to not, today is a great time to, to be a digital artist because there's so many options. As you see and watch, you can see that the drawing experience is absolutely phenomenal. I haven't had, of course, I'm wearing a glove. I haven't had any false positives. I haven't had any false positives. Um, the palm rejection is pretty decent. Is it fantastic and perfect? Uh, it's it's darn near close, you know. I think with the recent updates that, that Microsoft has had, I think that uh, overall, you know, eventually it'll probably be absolutely phenomenal. But for the money, you really can't go wrong with, um, you know, the, the addition of an additional stylus in case you, you know, accidentally lose one. Um, now, I can go in here in this particular program, and I can go to style responsiveness, and I can choose less or more. Less will be, you know, the mark that I have will be, gosh, it's just a, but if I go to more, now I have a nice pressure curve, see? Um Two, what I noticed uh, is, you know, pairing your pen. It works right out of the box, but it's always better if you pair your pen with your, let's see, Bluetooth, um, with your device. Um, you know, let me see here. Oh, okay. So basically, the only thing that I can pair would be like a surface pen uh, with this device. It automatically just registers. It registers the uh, the presence of of this pen. Um, like I said, fit and finish is really good. Quality is really good. 
you know, the, the overall. Okay, so let me see if it's doing it. No, we're still good. I was going to check to see if it was off center, and that happens sometimes. Now, in terms of tilt, this pin does not have tilt. I know that on the Surface devices that their, their pins do have tilt. There's a degree of tilt there. Actually, it depends on the program. If the program supports tilt, then it'll be there. If you want tilt, you're going to have to go to a higher echelon of technology, you know, such as Wacom that, you know, maybe there's Cintiq models that offer a level of tilt. I like tilt and I use it all the time on my desktop machine. And I recommend that if you're going to be a professional or if you are a professional uh, illustrator to go ahead and invest uh, in a, um, you know, in a Wacom uh, product because they, they, I mean, they invented, I don't know if they invented, I'm not going to say that. Um, they kind of held the keys uh, on the technology for a long time and they've really gotten good at it. I, I haven't used a uh, XP pin um, device yet uh, in, in terms of uh, like a, a keyboard, not a keyboard, but a, um, a tablet or uh, a screen. You know, recently I looked at, at possibly getting uh, an XP pa uh, tablet screen, um, but it just wasn't in the, in the money uh, at the time. Um, so I think I lost my remote. Oh, there it is. Okay. So that being said, should you go out and purchase the, I think I actually lost my pressure curve. No, we're fine. Should you go out and purchase a stylus like this for your existing Windows machine that supports ink? And, it ha and it's important that you have to know too that it has to support active pen technology. Um, oh, I got a false positive right there. I must have touched it with my finger. I'm getting a little whiskers here. I don't know. Uh, you know, I did this just because, you know, I needed, I, I needed a different perspective because I was so unhappy with this particular stylus up here. Um, if you have this stylus, here, let's switch for a second. If you have this stylus, this stylus is actually pretty good. Obviously, they've done something recently because there's there's been some updates. This one's shorter, the barrel shorter, so it's kind of it's kind of different feel to it. Um, you know, this one's actually pretty good. You know, I like I said, I think they update their software and their drivers, and what happens is, I think that's exactly what happened. Now this one feels really good since I haven't used this one in a while. I'm not sure how much this one costs probably like 50 bucks. I think I paid $25 for this on eBay. It was a probably part of a, you know, package of, uh, of other products that they recently received. Like uh, hospitals get styluses and, you know, they get them with their devices and maybe they ordered them and people just didn't like them and then they returned them and maybe it's never been used because whenever I got it, it was never used. So, Anyway, I think that's all I wanted to show you guys today. Um, you know, like I said, this is not a polished, quote unquote, polished review. I really want to show you guys that there's a lot of options out there. There are so many options these days for, you know, devices. And one or the other is not going to be the end all. The iPad, guys, is really close. I mean, it is so close. The the thing is, is it doesn't run it doesn't run top level pro apps. I mean, I can't run Photoshop. I can't run Illustrator. I can't run all those programs that I want to. And plus, the file transfer interface is terrible. It's getting better. Um, but the Apple Pencil compared to something like this, it's like apples and oranges. <laughs> apples and oranges for an Apple device. That's funny. No, nah, I don't like that at all. Um, let's go switch back to this. This is, they did something recently. Look at that. The pressure curve is, is actually better. It's better than the bamboo. Oh my gosh. That's wild. Dude, this stylus is banging. They did something. See, I had an update today and then I had an update earlier in the week and, you know, I've been drawing so much with the bamboo stylus. You know, honestly, 
This stylus right here is pretty good. And with the active pen technology, you could probably pick one of those up, these up for like 15 bucks, 20 bucks. And what's really cool is this works on my Surface Book. So anyway, that's all I wanted to show you guys today. Um, you know, I've got my, I've already done the, uh, the Slimer, um, turn video for you guys. I haven't posted it because I wanted to see as far as, you know, what I wanted to include next and, and make it relevant for you guys. Uh, we'll see if I'll post that soon. You know, maybe I wanted to, cause I didn't completely finish the turn. And, and at the end of the day, you know, that's probably what you guys want to see. So anyway, Let's go back over to white. So let's go down. Let's go here. Let's see what this feels like. This feels so good, guys. I can't even... It's hard for me to convey sometimes how something feels. It feels it feels good. The speed, there's no, there's no lag. Um, it's got a great pressure curve to it. It's not quite Wacom, but it's really close. I mean, it's so close. And whenever you pair it with the XP Pen Remote over here, especially on a device like this, I'm not having to sit here and deal with quick keys, you know, on the side and get that weird pain that I get in my hand when I do that. I've got it over here and I can zoom, you know, I can increase the brush size if I want to. Um, and just really have fun with it, right? Because that's ultimately, you don't want the machine to kind of inhibit you from your creativity. That's one of the things that I always said. I said the machine is actually trying to stop you from being creative because you have to learn not only the program interface in the beginning, but how to use the tools, right? It's just like riding a bike. Um, balance, it, it requires balance and understanding of, of inertia and all those things you have to really learn before you get in there and start enjoying riding your bicycle. So I encourage you guys to draw something uh, every day, if not every other day. I hope everybody's doing well during this, this interesting time uh, in our land and in our world. Yeah, let's do this. Let's get rid of this. Go ahead and boost this up in terms of opacity. Yeah. <laughs> There's a donkey on the edge. He's just having some fun today. Right? So do I recommend the Bamboo Ink Stylus? Absolutely. For the money, you can get one inexpensive, um, probably less than 30 bucks. There are a lot of options out there. And, you know, paired with the nibs that I showed you guys, um, it's really a, a great, a great, uh, a great thing, um, you know, that, that really supplements what you can do on these digital devices. Here, let's jack that down a little bit. Right. I gotta be honest though. They, like I said, they did something. They did something to this on this machine recently because it just, it feels... Yeah, there's just a slight, I mean, literally a slight lag. And then when I go back to the Dell, there's no lag at all. Isn't that wild? So let's go ahead and get that down a little bit. Okay, so let's add a layer. Let's go to multiply. Let's jack that down. Okay. Let's boost that up a little bit. Oh man, the pressure curve on this is different. It's different. They did something that's wild. You can feel it. For those of you who don't understand and are like, well, I don't, I don't understand pressure curve. Pressure curve is the harder you push, the darker or the larger the, um, the pixel density will be on the, on, the, on the canvas. And this particular device, it feels more natural. And that's the biggest thing that you want whenever you draw on a digital vice, device. Okay, so right now, Okay, so you can see it. You see how it's just 
Oh, hold on. Okay, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna come back. It's perfect. I think it has to do with the computer program, Sketchbook Pro, or Sketchbook. I do have Sketchbook Pro, the Enterprise Edition, and it's supposed to be a little bit, I don't know, have a, a, a couple other features. Like there's supposed to be a curve here, but I haven't, I haven't gotten that particular update yet. Anyway, that's kind of all I wanted to show you guys today. Hopefully you got something from this drawing. Hopefully you got something from the fact that if you do own a Surface device, if you do own a device that supports active pin technology, and that's the big thing, it has to support active pin, and this particular Dell does. Um, the Bamboo Ink Generation 2, I think, is a great option for those looking for, you know, a supplemental, um, you know, stylus. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put you guys on time lapse. I'll just do a really quick color of this guy, and that'll be today's video. All right. Thank you guys. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Enjoy the time lapse. Bye. Tra la 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 la. Tra la 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. Dancing and prancing in the air. La 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 la. It's springtime once again. Springtime, you're my best friend. I love you. La 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 la. Thank you guys for stopping by. Like and subscribe if you like what you see. And as always, we're posting new videos. So stay tuned. Hit that notification bell. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>